John Paul, when he was running for president, there was a lot of confusion about the Federal Reserve. He said stuff that sounded crazy, like 1.6 trillion of the debt was fictitious. And I saw him on Fox News talking about that. And Lori Rothman, an, an analyst, right. oh, that's not fictitious. That belongs to the financial markets. And that seemed to prove his point. So could you address that issue a little bit and see if you can? Well, that's a good point. Uh, we have a tremendous problem. We owe $18 trillion. China, we owe, think of China. They do all this business, and now we owe them money. How about Japan? Japan is our second largest creditor, $1.4 trillion. We do all of this business. They sell us all of these cars. We owe them money. How does this happen? How does it happen? We have got to get the debt down. We're going to be Greece pretty soon. We're going to be a, a Greece on steroids. We're going to be up to $24 trillion very soon. That's a big number. That's a sacred number. That's the it, magic. Can you, can you do what JFK and uh, President uh, Abraham Lincoln did, and that's take the power to create money back to the government, and that would eliminate taxation? What you have to do, I mean, you have to bring everything back. But you know what? I'm a, I believe in free trade. I do. I have a big free trade. But here's the thing with free trade. You have to have smart negotiators. I know the greatest negotiators. I know people that are so nasty, so horrible. They're horrible human beings. You'd hate them. But they're great at what they do. <laughs> I know people you would not want to have dinner with them. They're horrible people, but they're great at what they do. I put one in judge of Japan. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have Carolyn Kennedy negotiating for us. <laughs> How did you get the job? Well, I asked the government, and what did they say? How would you like to be ambassador to Japan? And now I see Abi, who's a killer, the head of Japan, whining and dining her. We're getting killed everywhere. We would have the greatest negotiators. I know, I know most of them. I know the good ones, the bad ones. I know the ones that are overrated. I know the ones you never heard about that are better than any of them. We would have the greatest, smartest deals you've ever seen. We would bring our deals back. We would bring our manufacturing back. We would bring our money back. Believe me. And we have to do that. Okay, next question. Yes, sir. Mr. Trump, I'm from Arizona.